Hey Aries, welcome to Awaken Blue Heart Tarot. For those of you that are new, my name is Danielle. And for those of you that are returning, hey guys, I hope that everybody's been doing great. So this is going to be your reading for the month of October. Please keep in mind that this is just a general reading, so some of the messages may or may not apply to your exact situation. If you feel like it doesn't apply, please take a look at my other videos to check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs. All right, Aries. So you guys know the reading can go vice versa, so just take it however it fits your situation, okay? Also, y'all know that I love you guys, so thank you so much for the support. But let's jump in, see what's going on. All right, Spirit, what's going on with my Aries? Aries. Aries. That's, ooh. Well, okay. <laughs> Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. That one, y'all, y'all saw it. It came out hard. Mm. What's going on with Aries? Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now bottom of the deck this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek okay guys so spirit is saying that this could be you needing to free yourself from a situation and you got to make the effort to do so but you, you need to make a decision now, for others of you, I feel like there's someone here that is trying to seriously get out of some type of situation. And it's like they need to make the effort to do so. They need to make the effort to come towards you, but they keep going back and forth for making a decision. They need to make a decision and stick to it, right? Because they know that you're the one for them. As I'm shuffling, I keep seeing the Empress. So it's like this person definitely wants to have, they want to have a new beginning with you. But let's see what's going on. Aries messages for Aries please bottom of the deck I'm seeing the nine of pentacles reverse so there's somebody here that does not have a peace of mind about you yeah they want to apologize to you but they're not confident in doing so I told you this person's trying to cut off they're trying to get out of a situation they are definitely trying to get out of something but it's like they don't want you to let them go either Yep. Didn't I just say they don't want you to let them go? I told you. They do not want you to leave them alone. Okay. All right. So Aries, I feel like this person knows that at this point, you know, you're like moving on, you're healing, you're just worrying about you. And it's like they want to have a victory with you, but they need to make the effort to do so. Because see, yeah, this person did hurt you in the past and they want to make it right. See, look at that. This person definitely wants to have, you know, a happy home with you, but they have to get out of some type of third party situation. So if they're in a living situation, some type of family situation, they got to get out of it first and see they're listening to their intuition because it's like they know that whatever situation that they're in, remember I told you and you saw how hard free yourself came out. It's like, I'm telling you, they got to get out of something. Look at that. They're going to free themselves. Aries, this is either you getting out of a situation. This could be the person that you were dealing with getting out of a situation. Crosswatcher, if you're dealing with an Aries, like I said, they're getting out of something. But I'm telling you, I see someone being single. I see someone, I mean, it's just, it's blatantly here. Like, they're getting out of something. Someone is getting out of something. See, but they're afraid that even if they come and give you this offer that you deserve, you're not going to take it. And see, they're not positive right now about what you're going to say. Yeah, they're worried. This person is worried. Mm, let me see. Okay, you're balancing. Yeah, let's see. <sighs> okay, somebody could be dealing with an Aquarius. But it's like, they're losing hope. Yeah, they could be going through a tower moment. But I feel like something was shown to them, guys. Tell me more. Yeah, and see, they're not happy. Because they want to heal your broken heart. Mm -hmm. So they're coming out of being frustrated. Because at one point, they felt like they were going to lose you. But until they free themselves out of the situation, they're afraid that if they come towards you, you're not going to take this offer. See what I'm saying? It's like Aries, you could be dealing with another Aries, but I'm telling you, there is some type of like home or family situation going on here, like or a living situation. There's something going on. And this is the problem because it's like this person, even though they're trying not to be frustrated, they're moving really slow to take some type of action because I'm seeing that they're isolating themselves. But I'm seeing they, they will take a leap to put an end to something. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. Yeah, because see, look, they want to have this new beginning with you. 
but they're afraid that you're going to walk away from them and that's why they've been isolating themselves it's like they're afraid that you're going to reject them yep because they left you out in the cold maybe for some of them they feel like they're going to be left out in the cold financially speaking they're worried about their money yeah somebody could definitely be worried about their money but they need to make a decision look at that 11 11 they, they got to make a decision when it comes to their money because <laughs> right now they're feeling stuck they're trying not to worry about it but they are oh no that, uh -uh, i heard put that back mm -mm. oh whoops, okay come on out okay somebody's feeling stuck in a situation but they know that they're gonna have to get out of either something that they're committed to or someone that they're committed to in order to have a new beginning with you but there's still some hesitation with that i feel like there is like a delay Mm-hmm. Because they want things to improve with you, even though sometimes they feel like it's not. Because it's per I'm telling you, somebody's focusing on their money. I keep seeing it. Yep. They're focusing on their money. And it's like, they want to start over with you. They're going to go slow, but... Yeah, they're going to speak their truth. They're trying their best to come towards you to, you know, speak up. But because they were being immature in the past, it's like right now they're dragging their feet to do so. Could be dealing with the Pisces. Yeah, they don't know what to do. This person doesn't know what to do. Mm-hmm. Because things aren't balanced out. They didn't balance things out with you. Look at that. That card kept trying to come out. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Even financially speaking. Yeah, see, that's why they're not putting in the work with you just yet. Ooh, okay, okay. <laughs> it's like trying to hold on to me. Okay, it's like they're not putting in the work with you right now because this person could be trying to make a decision you know what's interesting? You are the third sign that I have done. And these two cards keep coming out together, which is very interesting. There, you know what? So for a lot of you guys, there, there are certain situations I'm picking up that they're in where, you know, I keep telling you, I saw something with like home or family, like living, it's something like that. And this person, you know, they could be married. They could be, have, they could have some type of like, contract or a bill or there's something legal here because something with documents i'm still i'm seeing it with you as well you know and right now it's like this person is stuck because they're trying to make a decision but this is why they can't move forward just yet there's something going on on their end that they're trying to get out of could be dealing with a cancer so yes they are wanting things to improve with you because they want to move forward they want to build with you even though sometimes they feel like you know, they're not going to be able to. Yeah. Didn't I tell y'all somebody, somebody's trying to get out of something. It's some, something legal, something like a, a contract. There's something here, you know, and I'm seeing that they're going to tell you the truth. Could be dealing with um, a Libra, but they're afraid they're not going to have a new beginning with you. But they're coming out of feeling sad. I told you somebody at one point, they did take a loss, but they're trying to get themselves together because they're going to come and talk to you, but they're afraid that you're going to cut them off. Yeah, they're afraid you're going to get yeah, it. See, there's two women here. Could be two men. Y'all know how I feel about my court card, but I'm telling you, they have to tell you the truth about something that was going on, guys. You know, and this is why there was no balance between the two of you. Somebody could be dealing with a Gemini. Somebody could be dealing with a Leo. But it's like right now, they don't have the strength to come and talk to you. Because the truth is, they got to get out of some type of toxic situation that they were in. And they will. But they're going to tell you what's been going on. Could be dealing with um, a can't. I almost said cancer. Okay, cancer's right here, but I was trying to say Capricorn. So, somebody's dealing with a cancer. Let's see. Oh, look at all these major arcanas just jumping out. So, the fact that this jumped out over here, I'm telling you, somebody is definitely trying to get out of either a marriage, a long-term commitment, some type of contract. There's somebody trying to get out of something. Guys, like, you could be dealing with a Taurus, and this person's feeling like you don't want to commit to them, but I'm telling you, they want a new beginning with you. They're going to come and give you the truth. And that's their decision. But see, the fact that two nines jumped out, it's like uh, there's been a cycle going on and it is wrapping up. It's coming to an end, but this person is worried and they're frustrated because they made the wrong decision. But see, look at that. There's a 10. I'm telling you, it's, it's going to be an ending. This cycle is wrapping up because the thing is they want to have wish fulfillment with you. With you. They want to have a family with you, but they know that in the past they were being sneaky with this, these codependent behaviors, with you know this codependent situation that they were in. And now I'm seeing that they're making changes. But they're in their head a lot, you know, about what to do. Because, see, they messed up. They keep thinking about what they did in the past. See, I told you they were being immature and childish towards you. And, see, now this person, they, they want to have stability with you. They want to be with you. 
they want to have a family with you but see because of the way that they behave that's why they're in their head this is why they can't sleep because they feel like the seeds they planted with you they're not going to grow but they're not confused they want to be with you but see oh some of them feel like you could have moved on and they're not happy because they know it's their fault you know, but it's, this is still going to take some time because this person, I'm telling you, they're worried about their money. Somebody's needing to get out of something, but it's still, they're moving slow to do it. And because it's going to take them some time getting out or freeing themselves from a situation, they feel like they're not going to be able to turn things around with you. Yep, they're afraid that things may not improve with you because they did hurt you. But see, overall energy, they're wanting to move forward. They're going to get out of this situation. These lessons, they're going to be learning them. They're going to be done wrapping up this karmic cycle and they're moving forward towards you. But the thing is, they know that they hurt you. <sighs> Lord. All right, let's see. All right, spirit. So, When it comes to Aries, I just said Aries and there you are. <laughs> when it comes to Aries, what advice do you have for my Aries, please? Advice for Aries. What advice do you have for Aries? Bottom of the deck, eight of cups. They're saying walk away. You're going to have to walk away from this situation. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> What's going on with Aries? Yeah, they're needing you guys to move on. Yep, you're moving on. You're definitely moving in a new direction, Aries. Okay. Wow, look at that. Two queens. Didn't I tell y'all before and I saw it? It's like there were two women, could be two men, and now I have two women again, could be two men, you know, with the court cards. But it's like... Y'all are moving on because you're like, I'm not going to be a third wheel. I don't care if this is a love interest, a friend that was in the way, family. I'm done, you know, and you guys aren't putting any more energy into this. And you're at this point, you're keeping your head up. You're staying positive, you know, because at the end of the day, it's like, I want a future. I want a family. I want, you know, I want this in my life, but me sitting around waiting is not going to, you know, change the fact, you know, you're, you're saying to yourself, this person is staying stuck in the situation. They're not moving forward. So you guys, you're not worried about it. You're getting out. Out of your head you're no longer overthinking this and you guys are just moving on you're focusing on yourself could be focusing on you know your career your finances but mm -mm. yep and that's why things are turning around in your life Aries but I do feel like there's something that you want to say and you're not saying ten of cups yeah some of you guys either you already have a family with this person or you would like to have a family. Yeah, see, your car just tried to jump out. You would like to have wish fulfillment with them. Mm-hmm. You want them to give you this offer. Mm-hmm. Because it's like you want things to improve. For some of you, look at that. I told you, either you already have a family with this person, you live with this person. Um, it's something like that. But I'm telling you, there's it's like some type of family situation involved here. You want them to give to you. Maybe it's like, okay, you're saying, ooh, Aries, you have angel number 444. So some of you guys may have been seeing that number a lot. But it's kind of, it's getting to the point where it's like, maybe for some of you guys, somebody was holding on because it's like you share a home with this person or you have a family and it's like you want money from them or maybe some of you guys are having to dish out money. I mean, this can go so many different ways. But regardless, I'm seeing an offer coming in and it's like you guys aren't worried about this offer. But see, I told you, you're not worried. You're doing what you have to do to clear away obstacles at this point. So I'm seeing you're making a decision. Clarify. Yeah. Some of you guys are willing to hear this person out, but your guard is up. Your guard is definitely up. Like, you're coming off really cold to them, you know, and it's like you're not positive anymore. Mm -mm. Yeah, you guys are, this situation is not good. You guys are getting out of it, you know, and by you removing yourself from this situation, this could even be like, you know, they're trying to come back towards you. You know, I'm sorry. I want this to work. I want my family back or I want to have a family with you and y'all not hearing it. It's like, you'll listen to them, but your guard is up. You're, it's kind of like what they're saying is going in one ear and out the other, the way this is playing out because you guys are like, I'm not overthinking this. I know what it is. I'm removing myself from this situation. And by me leaving, I have happiness. I have happiness coming in, but the thing is they're saying you guys aren't 100% confident in doing so. Whew, Aries, please leave me some comments. 
let me know if this resonates but this is interesting yeah we're, we're gonna see how this plays out next month but please leave me some comments okay i love you guys and i'll talk to you soon bye aries